All right, guys, good old boy 32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting out here at the Mifflin County Sportsman's Association trying to get geared up for the USPSA Multi-Gun Nationals. And I tell you what, they sent the matchbook out this week, and I'll be honest with you, there is so much shotgun work on this thing that it would behoove anyone who's shooting that deal to go ahead and start working on your uh, shotgun work. So at the beginning of this, I want to go ahead and introduce you to my three gun shotgun. This is a Benelli M2 three gun edition. Now, I hope everybody <laughs> is not offended by this, but I've nicknamed this guy the slut. Reason being is that my good friend, the original owner, was Pop's Quest. Then it went over to the great one and only X Ring, who then turned around and sold it to me. Now, since I've <laughs> I took possession of it. We've replaced the tube with an MOA Precision tube. This is a 12 plus one. I've also installed a real match feeder. And this guy right here, this is the Briley uh, handguard system. This is an M-Lock system. The cool thing about this, if you watched a couple of other videos with Rob or Pops Quest and uh, X-Ring, they had the original handguard on it. The cool thing about the original handguard is if you load weak hand like this, you don't have to worry about the heat coming off of the barrel. I do not. I run, I reload strong hand like this. When you shoot a ton of rounds and this uh, multi-gun nationals has so much shotgun work in it, uh, it, it's crazy. They sent the matchbook out last week. Anyway, with this hand guard on it, I can rotate it, turn it, do whatever I want. Plus, in the event that I need to put a uh, QD mount or a flashlight on it, I can do that as well. I've also upgraded it with a match saver right here. And one of the cool things is this guy right here. This is called the J. Kenny Auto Lifter. This thing is really cool. So if you watch the x rings video, the worst thing that could ever happen in a competition is you run your shotgun dry. When you run it dry, usually I would have to drop one in there, kind of like this. I'd go like this. I would drop one in there, do that, and then I would feed the rest of these guys in there. Well, with the J. Kenny lifter, all you have to do, right, is this right here. It's a really, really cool system. And uh, let me put these back. If you go to lock back, all you do is this right here. And guess what? You have a round chamber. It's a beautiful thing. Is it something that will give you an advantage? Not really, because now everybody's running one. But if you don't have it, you're at a disadvantage. Okay, so that's it. Done a little polish work on the trigger. And uh, let's see and play with this guy. Now what we're going to do, because of one of the stages, you have to start off on safe. The shotgun has to be in your weak hand. You're going to take one of these guys and you're going to throw it up in the air. Shoot it and engage other targets. Now what I've done, you see two steels right behind me. I'm going to go ahead, throw one of these things up and simultaneously I'm going to go bam, bam. And that's the drill for today. I want to be able to hit this guy and continue and transition straight to the targets that are on the ground. Let's go ahead and elevate that camera so you can see <laughs> if I hit this thing or not, and we'll go from there. Stand by. All right, one of the other things I didn't tell you about was this guy right here. If you'll notice, that loading port has just been opened up. What I did there was I created a funnel, and we'll do a, a different video on this, but as you can see, it's funneled into, and then there's a funnel going into the mag tube. All right, let's raise that camera up. This ought to be fun. I got the timer on. <laughs> okay, we are on safe. We are port arms, but of the shotgun is at the pistol belt. Now, you guys, if you're seeing this, probably wonder why I'm wearing all my stuff. I want to practice how I'm going to be wearing this stuff so I know that things are not going to get in the way. I've got another shell caddy that's going to go here. Is that going to be worrisome? It is if you go into prone on the very first part of that stage. Here we go. Oh boy. I don't know, did we get it? All right, we got it that time, 2.89 seconds. Woo, 
let's go get some more K. Uh, what do you call this thing? Shotgun shells. Hold on, I got some right here. This is the kind of stuff that we have fun with. Two point seven two. Let's see, we may have enough for one more. I got a half piece of clay. Ah, lock back. No match saver. <laughs> we'll continue doing some training with this guy, but I tell you what, that mag weld job right there, look at that thing. That J. Kenny lifter, it's gonna help save the day. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and, well, we're gonna train a little bit with the match saver. This is designed to give you a extra shell just in case you go to lock back. So if I'm engaging, I'm going pop, 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 and I got one more left, I can pop this guy in there, well, <laughs> just like that, and still continue on. So that's the beauty of this thing. It's actually supposed to look a little bit like this. All right, so let's do that. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that guy in there. I'm gonna put one in the match saver, I'm gonna engage that first steel, and we're gonna drop the hammer on that other one. So here we go. I am, what the hell, man? Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what. So anyway, I'll show you the uh, J. Kenny lifter, what it does, watch this. Boom, boom, is the real Cobra burnout says. That's what it's supposed to do. Uh, it's so much harder to do it when practice, but I'll tell you what, uh, and here we go. Watch that, Jake Kenny lifter. Boom, boom. That's what we want, just like that. One more time. All right, watch this. I'm gonna put it up from the bottom. And that's all she wrote. It's horrible. All right, we got two more. Here we go. We're gonna go the other way. All right, loads of fun there. I don't even think I hit those targets there. We got a lot more practice we gotta get with this thing. I would say if somebody's looking to get into three gun, the most important thing to do with a shotgun, you just aim the damn thing and learn how it runs. Learn all the cool things about it and then you won't have any problems. Don't be nervous out there. But this thing right here is awesome. Let's do some uh, quad lows, stand by. All right guys, let's talk quad lows here real quickly. One of the things that I wear uh, is, is several different things. I run the Invictus uh, quad loaders right here. I've got a set of 12 here and I have an additional one that will sit here if it's a heavy load. Uh, most of these shotgun courses that I've seen, you're gonna need at least 20, 20 uh, shells for each one of the courses almost. So I'm gonna have to run more than one of these. I also run the MCS, or MCI, MCS, I think it's MCS, the chest rig that we developed a couple years ago, uh, David Barwin. That guy's a genius. But in any case, if I need a 100%, this will hold like 24, uh, shells up here, so I got 24 down here, total 48, plus what's in the gun. So here's what I wanted to show you guys real quickly. Uh, go ahead and put this here. But the magwell that we have, if you guys notice this, it's, I've got that thing polished up pretty nicely. I'm gonna show you guys some quad loads. We'll go ahead and turn it this way, right here. I don't run, I can't, I don't know, maybe I'm not coordinated, to do weak hand, my left hand, I've never been known to do anything with this guy. I do it all with this. <laughs> all right, so the big thing about quad loads, uh, especially with strong hand, is bring this shotgun up, and I have found, if I don't look at this, I do better, okay? If I stare down at it, I'm not gonna do well. So I can just go like this. Now, see, I look down. 
And the cool thing is, is don't look down. You don't want to look down because you need to be running uh, or moving towards the next little phase of your engagement there. Come on now. So let's go ahead. And what I'm planning on doing in this little exercise, and by guys, I'm not a means of professional with this thing, but we always endeavor to do well whenever we can. And that's why we're doing what we're doing. All I want to do is to be as good as I can be when I get there. So here we go. Uh, we're gonna do a short reload. I'm gonna go ahead and pop one round off and go quad load to the next target up here so you can see what's going on. All right, so what I wanna do is I wanna engage that first target, okay, on the move and then in, while I'm moving, go ahead and do a quad load and engage that second target. It's gonna go a little bit like this. I dropped one of the rounds, but this is the key element. I always wanna be moving. Okay, let's do that again. Woo, all right, just missing that one round off that last guy. Let's do this a couple more times, stand by. All right, so here we go. Quad load on the move. Actually, that worked out real well because there was only one round in the chamber. It went the lot back and then I was able to get that off. So, you know, <laughs> I'll keep the Mad Saver on there as kind of a deal, but not a deal breaker, I'll tell you that right now. All right, so we got that in there. Let's go ahead and do that again. Stand by. What I'm gonna do now is I wanna engage that target and on the move, when I'm coming up, I'm gonna engage that one. Woo! Guys, y'all wanna talk about fun. <laughs> okay, well, we're done. Enough shotgun training. The idea is to get in there, you feel comfortable, you feel confident, and you are very familiar with this guy right here. If you've ever been in the military, you get the M60 or what do you call it, 249? You run that thing till you know it inside and out. If there's a malfunction, you can clear the malfunction without any problems. All right, so that's it. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform. 24 seven for our freedom. This freedom comes in 12 gauge shotgun, especially those who don't support our constitution. I'm out of here, y'all be good.